Well, as most everybody in the room knows, there's a lot of things going on here in Santa Clarita. There's meetings daily, meetings e every evening. Um, I've just spent uh, close to 15 hours of my life that I'll never get back sitting in Chiquita Canyon landfill hearings. I've been to three of them, and uh, the poor people of Val Verde were put up a big fight, and today they passed the, uh, the conditional use permit or granted a new conditional use permit for uh, with conditions, I guess, for the Chiquita landfill for the next 30 years. Um, the commissioners did ask a lot of questions, and they asked some very hard questions, and I finally got tired. I didn't want to wait the extra half an hour when they took a break to come back to see what they were going to do, so I, I had left. But um, So Chiquita landfill will go under an expansion. Um, it's sad, but but uh, hopefully they're going to. Uh, people have woken up and they're going to request monitor. The county will request monitoring. Uh, they don't even have any air quality monitors anywhere around Chiquita Landfill, and uh, the county pawned that off on to saying it was uh, AQMD problem that they, AQMD has to ask for it. So, but uh, so that's that's what went on with Chiquita Landfill today. Um, this was the third, it was a continuation of the hearing uh, from last month, and today they had it in uh, downtown Los Angeles, but they had a satellite feed at uh, Stevenson Ranch, so we all didn't have to go down there. Um, now, the state has mandated the water agencies, and they actually there's just this whole, the uh, complete state is due to the drought has mandated a uh, a sustainable groundwater management act and they want all the groundwater in the state to have everybody to uh in each area to create a group or a governing body to manage each groundwater basin our groundwater basin here in santa clarita stretches from agua dulce to the uh, county line to the, on the west, to Cal Grove on the south, and up uh, just north of Castaic. That's the groundwater basin for our area. So they're in the process. The state's mandated this this uh, that it that it be done. So I went to meeting last week about it. The and they 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 finalized the the uh, people that are going to manage the groundwater basin. And it's going to be the County of Los Angeles, the City of Santa Clarita, as Mayor Smythe said, uh, Newhall County Water District, Santa Clarita Water Division, and CLWA. But it's kind of uh, interesting that uh, Valencia Water Company didn't get put into this also. But when we asked them about that at the meeting, they kind of danced around the answer because everybody's not sure if uh, Valencia Water Company is a public agency or a private agency. They keep saying it's private. Um, they just danced around it. So I thought to myself, you wonder why people are so hesitant about CLWA because you guys keep dancing around these questions about that. But anyway, they're under the gun to get this done. They had to have uh, had to have this done that they did last night by. Um, July, so they're a little ahead of schedule. They, they gave us a really neat map to show people who's going to be governing their, their uh, areas. Some places only have, uh, that are in the county, would only be represented by a county. Uh, just one representative. If you're in the, in the county, but you also have Newell County Water with, as your water agency, and then... Uh, You'd have two representatives on this group. Um, anyway, so they're, they're working on that. Also, it's being mandated that they have a citizen's advisory group, kind of like what Whitaker Burmite does with the CAG. Um, and as soon as they get the Joint Powers Authority, is what they called it, they're going to uh, start working on a citizen's advisory group. I, you know, I volunteered 
to, to be on the group. Um, we'll see what happens when, when that comes about. They're going to, to uh, reason they, the state's done this is because of the, of the drought and what they, what they stated, the state was there and, the, and what they stated was is the water supplies in, in California, of course now all the reservoirs are full, at least up in Northern California, they're all full. But the groundwater above ground storage is, uh, groundwater is 17% larger storage capacities than, uh, than the above ground storage in, in the reservoirs. So it's very, very large in the state of, of the groundwater and that is definitely uh, to save us during the droughts and that's why they want to manage these things. The only thing I can uh, I do know as being on the CAG uh, for Burmite is that our groundwater here, at least the Saugus uh, alluvium on uh, this side of the San Gabriel Fault, uh, has only risen uh, 15 feet after all the rains this summer, but it was down over 70 feet. So it's only come up not even 20%. So that means we've got to have like five years of rain before we're back to normal groundwater. Um, so that's why the state's, state's doing this and they're, they're, they're pushing us. So it's, it's an ongoing process. They announced it last night, but there, there, there is this groundwater management act that they have and uh, it's supposed to be totally, totally in play by 2022. Now with the groundwater management act, they started mentioning in the paper, uh, the signal mentioned about there was contamination at Lang Station. Now, if, I don't know if everybody knows where Lang Station is. If you go out Soledad Road and you go underneath the freeway just past uh, Shadow Pines, it's on the right-hand side and it's, uh, it's where uh, Lang, uh, Mr. Lang was a pioneer of Canyon Country, lived out there and all that kind of thing. Uh, Lang Station, there used to be a train station there also. It's right along the railroad tracks. It's on the south side of the railroad tracks, south side of the river, four acres. We didn't know anything about it. There's uh, groundwater contamination and, and contamination there. And it's from, uh, there used to be a company called the Lubrication Company of America. And the Lubrication Company of America used to recycle oil, bunker oils, uh, jet fuels, sulfuric acid, a bunch of other things. And uh, I heard about it, and I, so I, found, I contacted uh, Department of Toxic Substance Control, Jose, who's in charge of Burmite. I said, I'd like to get in touch with somebody about the Lang thing. So he sent me the link to, to the, uh, all the paperwork and uh, the reports. Well, lo and behold, they've been working on this since 1986. And has anybody heard of this? I mean, I live only about a mile or so away. I know the Duns and us, we're all in Newhall County water. All our uh, wells are right in that area. We're less than a mile from this, this uh, contamination of all this, uh, this oil and things. Well, they've been working on it since 86. The, uh, they were looking for people to pay for the cleanup. And of course, uh, they, they had the uh, Lubrication Company of America, but then they, of course they went bankrupt. And uh, so now there's nobody left. They finally, in 2014, declared it an orphan site that nobody owns it. And so the state's had to clean it up and nobody's been able to, you know, they don't have anybody to take care of the cost of the cleanup. But right now, the, uh, they were doing soil vapor extraction over there also, which is what they do on Burmite, where they put a, a vacuum machine in and they, they pump out what they call the VOCs out of the volatile organic compound uh, um, vapors and things out of the ground to get all that out. They've had a soil vapor extraction unit in there since 2001 or of that nature. Anyway, they declared that it, it was uh, finished. They, they had to uh, turn it off. It's been off for a couple of years and then they turned back on to see what kind of rebound it had. So they've declared the, the site finished and clean and uh, they said the cleanup was complete in October of 16. Well, we never heard about it. And so all of a sudden the signal just said something about it. And if I would have heard about it a lot sooner, I would have been 
more involved the ends it's my water for one and for two I'm out just a mile from where it, where it's actually at um, but I'm, I'm gonna do some more investigation to see what to make sure everything's done um, and talk to the people at the uh, Department of Subs uh, Toxic Substance Control but so right now we had a toxic uh, cleanup a mile east of Canyon Country, or yeah, a mile east of Canyon Country, and I don't think anybody heard about it until the Signal wrote something about it, which was actually kind of amazing to me. Um, so I'll keep uh, work on that, and uh, what else was I supposed to talk about? We got any other exciting news around here? We did Chiquita Canyon, and we did the the uh, groundwater, and we did uh, Lang Station. The um, the citizens group, citizens groups. Well, you said the groundwater yes. Yeah, uh, they're appointed. They're appointed by the the the, uh, the agencies. The city city's going to have somebody in it. The county's going to have somebody in it. Um, each water agency is going to have somebody except Valencia Water Company. Uh, apparently not now because it's pretty much clean. They said they've covered, and plus it's been covered over. It's a four-acre site, and it's been covered over by asphalt. They've capped it. So, uh, and it's uh, no, it's just outside the city limit. It's it's just to the east. Like I say, you go if you take all of that out and you want to go back up around. You know where uh, the Rivers End RV Park is? That's kind of a plate place where people all live in their mobile or motor homes and stuff uh, right around the corner he takes all of that out and it's all that kind of makes a big sweeping right turn goes down and then it makes another left back when he gets to the railroad tracks it's right across the river from river's end oh i bet sure they would <laughs> Well, your groundwater's but your, your well, that's just so. You know, well, they keep the keep the from percolating right there on top. Um, that's that was the solution. I don't know. I can't tell you for for sure of that. I was a little upset that the, this has been going on for so long. When he sent me the link to that, and I started reading the history and that type of thing, it was just. Uh, I thought it was a trucking company, but it turned out they were. They were recycling oil and everything else there. And they, when they had to clean up, they had train cars and things full of, of uh, used oil and, and fuels and stuff. That's, 